Lamar Jackson is one of the best players in the NFL and he is about to be a free agent, which means he might be leaving Baltimore. Not only will the Wheel of Sim decide where Lamar signs next year, it will also determine weekly and season long goals that merit lucrative boosts and perks for Lamar. Instead of simming the season, we will be going into every single game and this wheel will decide how much I get to play. Our only goals for this series is to get Lamar Jackson to a 99 overall and win a Super Bowl with whatever team he signs with. We've got Lamar set as a free agent with the stock jersey. Now we can spin the wheel. This is the wheel that's going to decide Lamar Jackson's fate for next year and the entirety of this series. So I am just going to shuffle the teams. You can see no results. We haven't spun it yet. Just going to spin it once and see what team it lands on. The Falcons. Oh man. So the Falcons did offer us in the game, which is good. It's a poor scheme fit, but for 155 mil over six years, we're going to Atlanta. He looks gross in a Falcons uni. And we can advance the next season. We've got Jacoby Myers and David Montgomery added to this offense just from EA Sports. Uh, thank you. Of course, we've also got Kyle Pitts, superstar X Factor 86 overall tight end, and Drake London, who's a star dad. Our abilities that we're using on Lamar is going to be fast break, quick draw, jukebox, spin cycle, and dashing deadeye. And of course, the Truz X Factor. Pound the rock, beat the Saints, rush for 150 yards. Now that goal really doesn't matter. The goal we have to pay attention to is what we're about to spin. Whatever challenge we land on must be completed in one single game. And I'm also open to adding any ideas you guys have. So feel free to comment any suggestions. Here we go, spinning the wheel for the first time. I'm excited, three touchdowns, that's definitely doable. This one might be tough. This is our scenario. So this wheel determines how much we actually get to play in that game. I'm hoping for a drive, so one player lock drive. Honestly, for the first game, I'll take it. I pulled the ball in a read option on first down and took off to the right side. Lots of green grass, but unfortunately there's a flag thrown. Holding, coming back. We went back to the read option on first and 13 because the Saints just weren't giving us a good defensive look and we pick up another first. On second down, I drop back and throw a high ball over the middle, but it soars past our receiver's head. And on third, we find Drake London on a crosser. That's good for six. We go into trips on fourth down and Kyle Pitts gets open on a short crosser for a first. Drive management's been terrible so far. Third and nine, we find Kyle Pitts on bunch verticals. He's running towards the end zone, but of course he's caught before we can reach Bader. The first touchdown of the season is dropped by Drake London on a dig, but luckily we find Kyle Pitts in the flat who takes it 12 yards for six. We ended up simming the rest of the game. We beat the Saints 34 to 13 and check in the stats. Lamar was able to complete our first challenge, throwing for four touchdowns on nearly 350 passing yards. He went nuts. So after we complete one of the challenges, we're going to come to this wheel. This is the wheel of all the boosts I have right now. And of course, if you guys have any suggestions for stat boosts or any creative ideas, let me know down in the comments. I'm willing to add about anything and we're going to spin it. Whatever it lands on, we're boosting Lamar plus three medium. So that's medium accuracy. And of course, the goal is to get Lamar Jackson to a 99 by the end of the series. So the boosts aren't going to be anything crazy. We'll move medium throw accuracy from an 87 up to a 90 and we'll see if that boosts anything. I don't think it did. So unfortunately, Lamar is still a 91, but we have a little bit better accuracy, which I will take. We looked great. 34 to 13. That's a statement win. We weren't able to have success that we had planned for, but getting the win's a good way to temper this disappointment. We just won 34 13. This dude wanted to beat the Saints by 50. Uh, try not to be disappointed. Exact. That's exactly what I'm saying, coach. All these guys did get an upgrade. So we do have an upgrade point to Lamar after the game. I am going to go with strong arm just because it's the lowest one. We actually do get overall boost. Nice. Break sack, throw power, and throw under pressure. So we got a little like extra boost. I like it. Uh, we are advancing to week two. Just letting you guys know, we're going to play four games each episode. I probably should have stated that in the intro. Yo, we got NFC player of the week, Lamar Jackson. Let's go, man. This is going to be our challenge for week two. I'm excited to see what we get. What is that? Four touchdowns. Oh, man. If I get one drive or less, we are definitely in trouble. One quarter. Okay. What? I can do that in one quarter, low key. All right. So we've got the Cardinals in week two. On the first play of the game, we're able to hit a post route over the middle. That's complete. Roughing the passer tacked on. Third and 10, we are back in the bunch formation and we connect on a corner route to Jacoby Myers. The very next play, I nearly get my receiver killed. I hit a sack on second down. But on third, Jacoby Myers is able to pick us up another first down. I sell out another receiver. Uh, I can't keep doing this, man. Jacoby Myers has been putting in work all drive as we throw a touchdown to him. Unfortunately, I ate up too much clock on our first drive, and by the time we got the ball back, it was already the second quarter, which of course means we have to sim the rest of the game. Checking our stats for game two, Lamar Jackson threw for 342 yards and five touchdowns, which is nuts, completing our challenge again. We had three interceptions, but I didn't throw any, so I don't really care. I love the Lamar W wheel. We're gonna spin this again for the second time this video, see what we get, plus three awareness. That's actually a really good boost. So we get a plus three boost to awareness 
awareness making 91, 94, and we did boost in overall. Awareness is gonna be the fastest way to boost our overall in general. And that gets Lamar Jackson to a 93. All right, let's see what we can get. We've got three touchdowns, we've got four touchdowns. This one is just win game. All right, now let's see how much I actually get to play. One quarter. We've got the Vikings week three. I'm pretty confident we can win this game, but Justin Jefferson may cause some problems. Lamar in the all white unis with the red helmet looks so clean. First play, we're back to getting our receivers killed. Hit a quick hole shot versus cover three on third down. Went back to the same exact play because I'm lazy. Hold a read option, got north and south and was able to pick up like eight. Hit a slant over the middle on third and two. Wasn't able to get loose on second and goal, but I was able to throw a high ball to our red zone threat, big body tight end Kyle Pitts, getting our first touchdown of this game. And then I ate a sack with two seconds left. This game would go into overtime, but unfortunately Minnesota, the offensive weapon, the offensive threat, handed us our first loss. We lost 44 to 38, which means this is the first time we've lost a challenge. We're on the downgrade wheel for the first time this video, but we're going to land on minus two speed. That kind of sucks. Minus two speed is not going to do much to us overall. It actually did lower us back down to a 92. Okay, never mind. So maybe we are pretty balanced here. We do have a plus one with morale, but we actually are a 92 overall right now. Going into week four, the final week of this episode. As always, challenge wheel first. Let's see if we get a crazy one. 100 yards rushing. Well, that might be tough. If I don't get, if I get anything less than a quarter, we're screwed. One player lock drive. Oh man, we're screwed. The bad thing is there's no physical way of me getting 100 yards rushing on one drive, especially player locked, but we're gonna have to give it a shot. Pulled a read option on second and two and got stuffed, but on third down, we stepped up in the pocket and we're able to get loose for about 15 yards. On second and eight, we're back to the read option, getting a good block by Jacoby Myers on the outside. Quick little juke move. We're trying to turn the corner, but Lamar is so tired. On second and three, we get stuffed and getting a bit repetitive. We're back to the read option. I need rushing yards, man. You can't blame me. This is actually a pretty solid one. We break a couple tackles here, but on third and eight, since Lamar is so tired, I just took the touchdown to Kyle Pitts. Don't want to risk not getting points on our first drive. But unfortunately, that was all we played this game. We did beat the Saints 45 to 15 in primetime, which is nuts. We blew them out. And checking our passing stats, we had a decent day, obviously, but rushing, we fell 19 yards short of our goal, 100 rushing yards, which means we lost another challenge. Unfortunately, we are back on the Lamar L wheel. Hopefully, it's not too bad of a downgrade. We land on minus three medium accuracy. That is uh, probably not good. Has us at a 94 right now, but I bet that's going to come down after this downgrade. Minus three medium throw accuracy puts us at an 87, which I don't think impacts our overall. We did go down one overall. First two games, we ended up hitting our challenges. I was feeling good. I was thinking, man, we might have to change things up. This is going to be a 99 in no time, but you know, we got humbled in the last two games, albeit we split one and one. We went three and one for this episode, which is good. Lamar Jackson, it, it's been difficult. We'll be playing the next four games, so weeks five through eight in the next episode. We might be able to bring back a Falcons legend in free agency. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. Of course, let me know down in the comments if you guys have any ideas to improve this series. This is going to be the main series on the channel going forward. I have a lot of fun making these. And that being said, Jock signing out. If you can get this video to 500 likes by tomorrow, I'll upload episode two of the Wheel of Sim for Lamar Jackson. And also while you're down there, consider subscribing. We're very close to 20K. Hope you have a great day.